Today on the channel, we got the Giant Man Wasp Marvel Legends 2 pack Hasbro Pulse exclusive. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another Hasbro Pulse exclusive with Giant Man and the Wasp. But for all your Hasbro Pulse exclusive needs, Hasbro Pulse, but everything else under the sun, DJC Collectibles. Use discount code ADOFFDJC to save 8% off your entire order. Got to get a deal out there. And this may eventually go to other retailers and stuff like that, fan channel stuff. But as of right now, Hasbro Pulse exclusive. And the cool thing about this pack was it went up for order, and the order was the order. It was no long pre-order game. It was no wait. It immediately started shipping out. That's something that we're seeing more and more of. We're seeing that with the Jazz Rose Vault. We're seeing that with Mattel Creations. Now we're seeing with Hasbro Pulse. I think it's a little bit of the changing of the guards uh, as people are sick of people having their money for long periods of time. I've been saying that for years. I am not a big fan of that. Not a fan at all because they're getting interest off you. That's why I'm such an advocate of waiting for the hot off the truck at the Entertainment Earth, things like that. But if Hasbro Pulse is going to follow suit with everybody else, could be a little bit of difference in our collecting here in the future so pretty cool to see that all things considered here but of course we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there the avengers Mirth earth's mightiest heroes of course 60 year anniversary packaging we saw this a lot in 2023 a lot of different two packs that went to the targets of the world uh, now we're getting one final one i guess maybe as of this point here with the wasp and giant man two pack and of course giant man coming as the hasbro uh hasbro backer figure for the year i guess coming this fall so we'll look to that of course this will pair very well with that in the future so stay tuned to that unboxing in the channel but it does the 60th anniversary packaging design. Seen it before, I guess we're seeing it again right here. That Avengers logo looking good. A lot of accessories to this pack. Big bubble window as well looking good right there. Little old school comic artwork. I'm here for that. Same thing on the other side. A little bit of blurb there. And there's that kind of when I think of the early days of the Avengers, the first Avengers picture, I always kind of go back to this artwork here. Maybe you're like me. Maybe you're not. Yeah, choose your own adventure as we say. But there it is. Let's see what it says on the back here. Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne use Pym particles to manipulate size and defend Earth as members of the first Avenger team. So how about that? The first Avenger team getting the job done. Seen it before. Seen it again in the packaging. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. Not a twist tie to be found, but we do got some tape going on here. But we're going to pull them all out. We're going to pull all this stuff out as well. Very cool. And we did get... Oh, we did get a Hank Pym last year. What was that West Coast Avenger box set? It was uh, more him in his, uh, I don't know, his janitor suit, we'll call it. We'll call it a janitor suit. Why not? Why not? Shout out to janitors out there. Keeping things clean. Keeping it clean is what they're doing. All right. Uh-oh, the tape. It might be some of that Cambodian tape. We'll see. It's pretty hard to get out of there. All right. Pop that out. Pop old Janet out of there as well. Shout out to Janet, my admin at work. How about that? She's always keeping me going. She's always getting those reports done for me. Shout out to Janet. Shout out to Janet Van Dyne as well. Come on, this tape. Extra sticky. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. We're going to start ladies first. We always do that, of course, here on the channel. And that's where we're going to begin. We do get a little computer kind of slide chip thing going on right here. A little readout. Oh, very scientific for this couple right here. Uh, we do get one of those. We do get a little, uh, uh, not a beaker. Is it a beaker? A beaker? Ah, oh, shout out to Beaker. Shout out to Beekman's World as well while we're at it. But we do get this. So keeping the science going. Keeping the science going. Keeping the pin particles going. Keeping it up. Keeping up with appearances there. Let's bring the beast in here. We can get real scientific. Two splayed out hands. Great if you're flying through the sky. She's got two fists of fury on her. And then, of course, we do get the wings here. Always got to have those for a wasp, don't you? They plug into her back. Kind of a... A uh, clear frosted wing color, I guess, on this one here. Got a little bit of design to it, but it does look good. Very on brand here. Now we're going to get old Janet the Wasp right here looking good. Almost looking like a cone head right here, like a stinger in her head right at the top. 
looking interesting. She's got a little headset going on, got some antennas there. Looking very official and a very good face scan on this one or whatever you want to call it, sculpt. Uh, very realistic looking. D big time blue eyes there, nice red lipstick. Very, very nice. And then the second head, very good as well. Nice lipstick, eyes, get the hair down. This is one of those heads, maybe you can use it with a G.I. Joe Classified. You want to do a different take on CoverGirl. I can see people using this head for something else because it's a very kind of nice generic woman's head. So if you're looking for people in a street scene, people in a wrestling audience, something like that, this may work there. But two good head sculpts here. I'm kind of torn which one to use. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll have to figure it out eventually. But then we get down to the figure here, of course, looking very, very nice. You got a dress going on in red. Got the black outfit over the top. Got the W in the chest for wasps. Got the holes in the back, of course, for the wings go in there. She does got a belt that is actually movable. You can move it around, slide it around. It's got two little uh, canisters there attached to the belt as well. Black jumpsuit. Of course, you got the red gloves, red forearm guards, red boots over the top on that. Looking very, very nice. Of course, articulation all the way around. Oh, very tough, but it can. She's got those big old shoulder guards there. She's really uh, looking good with those shoulder guards here. Uh, arms do go around. You do get a bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows. You know we're here for that. Hands back and forth, side to side. Fisted hands removable. Waist articulation. Head back and forth, up and down. Plenty of movement there. Plenty of movement in the waist as well. Big old splits if you need them. If you're the wasp, legs do go up. Bend at the thigh, double jointed pinless knees, ankles back and forth, side to side. So all the usual articulation here. A nice feeling figure, a nice clean looking figure. No pins, nothing like that, making it look very, very nice, feeling very nice as well. And of course, fits on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10% of ringside collectibles. Make sure you get a Mattel stand for her. But looking good. No issues with that one. Very, very nice. Of course, add the wings in there if you want to. Choose your own adventure, once again, as we always do say. But now we get old Hank. We get the old giant man. In a lot of ways, a two-in-one figure here, of course. Uh, you get the scientist version with the lab coat, and then you can have the straight-up giant man, whatever you want to do. You do get another scientific uh, tube. Tube? Beaker? Whatever you want to call it. We get one of those for him as well. And then, of course, you get a little uh, Avengers jet. You get the old jet here. Shrunk down, of course. Oh, we're using those pin particles to our advantage you get that looking good here and then we get two maniacal gloved blue hands and we get two fists of fury or one fist of fury and one gripping hand out of the package for him so we're here for that now when you get the Hank Pym head, Hank Pym head, he's a little angry. He's got a little anger in his face, it looks like there. Blonde hair, of course. Uh, wasn't he, like, uh, abusing her back in the day or something like that? Wasn't there a storyline about that where he was, like, abusing her? Uh, am I dreaming that? I don't know. But maybe maybe this is him uh, raging out or getting ready to rage out. Who knows? But looking interesting. Of course, the Giant Man had really, really good. I'm leaning towards this one on here. I don't know. I got to figure that out too. It's always tough. Always figure. It's always tough to figure out these looks. Obviously, you could buy two packs of these, display both looks, but eh, I'm not not in the mood for that. Not in the mood for that. But I do like this one. The antenna's looking good. The red, the face. Once again, two really good head sculpts between these two. And I guess like the more human-like head over here. Same thing with this one. You can put it on a different body. Get your use out of it if you want to. Now you do get the lab coat here, a nice soft goods lab coat, looking really nice, feels really nice. Another one of those accessories you could use with different characters if you really wanted to. So it does look good. You could snap that thing on uh, Reed Richards if you want to with the Fantastic Four, for example. You do get the Giant Man outfit underneath there as well. Looking very nice. He's got a very high belt. The belt was all the way up the waist, but he's got the silver belt there. Uh, the red and blue attack throughout on this one, no doubt about it, but definitely looking good. Articulation is identical to the Wasp. You do get the boot cut on this one, though. That is one point of difference. That's about it, though. So we're getting pretty used to this articulation by now, especially with these beautiful pinless joints. You know I'm here for that. Uh, but a good-looking figure here as far as uh, Hank Pym goes. I'm just a little torn. I I've got the janitor outfit one i don't know if i need another one i think i might use this as giant man but i've got a few giant man so maybe i'll put this as giant man have him standing underneath the new Haslab one have it kind of the growth projection i'll get some of the smaller ones as well it's like he was transitioning into a giant i may end up doing that i don't know we'll see what happens but does he fit on a mattel ringside collectible stand like his partner in crime what do you know? He sure does. Use discount code Kyle once again at ringside. Save yourself 10%. But really good. A lot of good accessories throughout on these packs as well that you could get reuse out with other figures. That's always a good day at the office as well as we do know. But is it a must-have? I don't know. I would say... 
It's probably not thought of as the Hasbro team as a must-have like some of the other packs because this didn't go to traditional retail. That could be me just thinking too much into it here. But for what this is and for the year we're in and, of course, with the HasLab around the corner, I have to think this is a must-have set if you did get that HasLab. So that's one thing. Do you get this set? Do you get the HasLab? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And, of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. And then some. We've got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, always the best place to support the channel and all the work it does take to run this channel. You can also support the channel at PressingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Pick up the complete guide to the Jack's Class Superstars book by yours truly over on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. And don't forget to hit me up on social media, SirPaul64, on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for a little Hasbro Pulse exclusive two-pack Avengers 60th Anniversary, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.